second movement. Let me show you from both sides. Bong sao. Hit. Other side. In your shoulder. Don't do as I do, do as I say, all right? Bong sao. Step out and hit. One last time. Bong sao. Step out and engage again. Why stepping out? And why this bong sao? Let me explain. If you have your opponent dead on, the correct bong sao, we call it the correct block, is on the outside arm. Hopefully you can get it in such a way that your opponent is slightly off center and you're in his center with your center, which gives you the advantage of distance and force. If you're not and you mess up and you do the wrong hand bong sao and you're on the inside, you're on the inside, once you hit, you are open and vulnerable. Therefore, you collapse, yeah? You try to collapse your opponent. So on the other side, you hit, you're all vulnerable, and you try to trap your opponent, if, in case, if that's you in the camera. Having that said, second thing, he's stepping out to step in. He's stepping out to step in. Why? That sounds really stupid and ridiculous. Yes, it is. The reason is it's a dummy. It's an immovable object. In a real fight, do not step out because it takes you one in. It's two steps too slow and you already get hit. You train it because you want to train these stepping in. The stepping in, you're reaching your opponent and you can trap your opponent. Yeah? So that's why you train stepping out. But in a real fight, you just step in. So wrong, you just step in. But in this case, it's a wooden dummy, it doesn't move. So yeah, that's number two. What is not explained in the video is how to engage. What I've learned, especially from Barry Lee, my Sihing, use your waist again, not your arms. It's not about your arm string because if you use your waist and you can move in one piece, whatever you do, you become so much stronger. Yeah? Wrong. And in one piece, you try to collapse. You can push, you can hit, um, whatever your choice is.